All right, so let's say we have a, um, a ridge line or a, um, a standing line. We want to attach another cord to this line. Uh, a lot of different uh, applications of this called the, uh, the Prusik or the Prusik knot. So I just have this little piece of cord. And the Prusiks work better when I'm tying a smaller diameter line onto a larger cord or a cord onto a rope. So uh, first thing I do is I need a, uh, first thing I need is a loop. So one of the easiest um, loops to tie would be the fisherman's bend for this case. I tie an overhand on that line and then an overhand here. You can check out our um, fisherman's bend video, get a close up of that. So basically I've made a closed loop out of this little cord. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the cord, uh, a bite or side of the uh, loop, across my standing. And then I'm going to take the other one and tuck that up through. Okay. And then I'm going to come around and tuck up through again. And then one more time. And then I'm going to kind of, what's called, dress the knot. I'm going to make sure none of those little loops are crossing or laid around each other. And you can see how once I've pulled that down, those turns go all the way around and they actually uh, bend across uh, the loop in the back. All right? So this is your basic uh, Prusik knot. Now, the, the use of this knot is that when I pull on it, I can't... It won't slide along the rope no matter which direction I pull it in. So that's good if I'm going to uh, maybe clip in with a carabiner and I've tied that carabiner off to a tarp uh, or a hammock uh, or even as a lifeline to rest if this were in a vertical orientation we're going to climb. Um, so the Prusik, the Prusik knot will not slide or slip along that larger cord. However, Let's say I do want to move it down further. I can grasp that barrel of coils, that barrel of turns around the main line, and I can slide the whole thing easily. So uh, say I'm, uh, I've got a tarp at this end. I attach the tarp um, or something I'm trying to uh, tighten up. I attach that to the coil. It won't move. I slide the whole thing away until it's tight, and then it'll resist any collapsing or sliding back along that line. So that's the basic Prusik. Uh, it's just a simple, simple loop that has been wrapped around at least three times around the main line. I'll take that knot apart so you can see it. It's tucked through that opening once. It's tucked through twice. And it came through three times. So start that again. I lay that knot Lay that loop over the, the main line, hold it, then I'll take the rest of the loop and I'll pass it through and over. And that's where I want to keep my coils uh, dressed apart, keep some tension uh, on that line. And then I'll tuck the loop through again. Okay, keep those lines apart. And then I'm going to go through a third time. This time I will uh, dress the knot up, kind of pull it tight, make sure there's no uh, crossing over of the line of the coils, kind of dress those up, tighten up as needed, make sure there's very few turns so they all laying parallel to each other. And that little bend is going across the, the loop. And now I've made my Prusik. It will resist moving in either direction along the main line, but I can easily slide that barrel up and down my main rope so I can hang things from it. Um, no end of uses of the Prusik knot. So this is one of the, the knots you're going to use a, a lot in the field. So it, uh, it's a good idea to practice it now and always have a few pre-tied uh, loops of small uh, strong cord with you to make Prusiks. So uh, don't forget to uh, like this video. Um, Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, check out some more of our cordage uh, videos.